Well, hello there, tiny little motorcycle. This is my Kawasaki Z125 Pro. So this video goes out to all those people searching for this bike right now, or searching for maybe an SSR Rascal or a Grom, any kind of 125cc mini bike. Um, it's been a fun little bike, but that's really all it is. It's just a fun little toy bike because you can't really use this thing for anything else. You can't really carry a passenger or carry any cargo. Can't take it on a road trip. Can't take it on the highway. Um, you can't keep up with your buddies on sport bikes. So this is really just a, a tool around town, 45 mile an hour or less type motorcycle. So why are you searching this right now? Why? How'd you come across this video? Are you new to motorcycling? You want a small bike? Or are you a small person? You want a small bike? Are you just looking for a toy motorcycle? Or are you looking for something to just bebop around town on and have fun with? That's kind of why I got it. Just to mess around on it. Bust out some wheelies, even though I'm terrible at them. And just kind of cruise around town on uh, low speed roads. But, what I want to bring up today, if you're looking at this, have you ever thought of looking at an e-bike instead, if you're just going to use it around town? Because there's a lot of benefits to that. Let's go for a quick ride here on this thing. Keep in mind, this uh, I've done a lot to this bike. Um, I tried to bump up the power a little bit on it, and I'll tell you, if you are thinking about getting this bike and adding power to it, you're going to spend a lot of money, that is for sure. I did an intake, an exhaust, and a fuel management system, a fuel controller, Power Commander 5, and uh, I'll give you the specs. I know them exactly on this motorcycle. If you want the real world, that's what my channel's about. I give you the real world information on what this bike is like. And what I can tell you is, it's a toy. That's its only use, really. And uh, it has no power, I mean. You gotta really wring this thing's neck to get any kind of power out of it. Constantly, you'll you'll ride it wide open throttle like that's your normal riding. But man, my exhaust is loud. So if you want the real world numbers on this motorcycle, I know them because I took my bike to have it custom dyno tuned after I did all the upgrades to it, and. Uh, in its stock form, with no upgrades, on the dyno it made 6.3 horsepower. Ugh, that's like nothing, man. And then after I spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on new pieces of performance stuff for this bike, it, it made 7.5 horsepower. So, a lot of money for pretty much no power gain. I mean, it's the power difference is not even really noticeable, honestly. But anyway, what I wanted to bring up today was if you're looking at getting this bike, you might want to check out getting an e-bike. It'd be about the same price. You know, a, a legit e-bike with a ton of power, like 2,000 watts, is probably going to be about 3,500 bucks. And that's about what this goes for. And you can get a pretty cool e-bike for that that pretty much looks like a motorcycle. They make them now with the fat tires on them. Uh, there's one made by Super 73 that's just out, the R series, whatever. That's a cool looking bike, man. Like 2,000 watts. It'll have plenty of power around town. If you're just looking for something fun to mess around on around town at low speeds, I think the e bike would be the way to go. Super fun. You don't got to wear as much gear. I'm in full head to toe gear right now. You don't need a license to ride an e bike. You don't have to insure it. You don't have to inspect it. You don't have to plate it and register it. You know? I have to pay property taxes on this bike in North Carolina. I don't have to do that on my e-bikes. So I kind of wanted to throw that out there. If you hadn't thought about it yet, it's something to think about. You don't have to worry about as much maintenance, you know, gasoline and changing the oil. You can load it on a rack or in your truck easily. You can't do that. This way is like, uh, this way is what, three, no, not three, about 250. I think it's about 250 pounds. I'm trying to put the word out as much as I can about electric bicycles because they are super fun, man, if you've never ridden one. 
coming from someone that is a motorcycle rider and an e-bike rider. I own both. Around town, the e-bike's more fun than this thing because you can take it anywhere. You can ride it up on the sidewalk or through a field or park it just about anywhere. This thing is a vehicle, man. It's, it's on-road use only. We're just cruising through a little uh, local park here. I like to come here. There's a lot of wide open space and just it's very nice and calm over here. I'm not doing anything crazy on the bike today. You want to take another quick look at it? It's a fun little bike. I'll give you that. If you're searching because you want to buy this bike, I'm not going to turn you off from buying it. It's a cool little bike, man. It looks like, I don't know, it just looks wicked for how tiny it is, right? And it is a lot of fun, but at this point, having owned the e-bikes and having owned this, if you're just going to mess around town, the e-bike is like way more fun. So, if you haven't thought of that, at least Google it and <laughs> check it out and see if it might be a better option for you. I'll show you what it's like to try to get up to speed on this thing. You ready? I'm trying to catch that car. There you go if you're looking at the z125 pro you might get one or a grom uh, something like that you're looking for a little bike just to bebop around town on and have some fun do me a favor just look at some e-bikes too they might just be exactly what you need with a lot less that goes into it as far as you know all the registration and maintenance and licensing and all that stuff if you're not a licensed motorcyclist already but you might find something cool that's gonna be a blast around town do exactly what you want to do so at least put that on your list to look at and uh, if you do get one put some content out there I want to see the user experience on it that's why I put all my content out just so people can see my experience with the bikes I own and maybe share a little bit of information about them and products at work and some knowledge and inspire people to get out there onto wheels so hope you enjoyed riding with me today And as always, thanks for watching.